Hey guys, this is a uh, show you a little project that I've been working on. This is a uh, Bruder mini excavator push toy. You know, just a uh, little toy that you get for your kids. And I've been uh, just been trying to, you know, make it work, make it into a mini excavator. Because, you know, I like the little mini excavators. You see, like the city and the um, municipalities and areas use. And just, you know, you don't need, you don't need a, a big excavator. You don't need, in real life, you don't need something like, like this, just to, uh, just to dig a hole and, you know, in the front yard. So, you know, a little, little excavator works. And I'm actually working on this one for you guys. I know I said uh, in one of my videos I was going to talk about uh, adding hard lines, which I did on here, but that's for another video. I'm trying to wait on a new radio system that's actually supposed to be for both of these guys, for the big one and the little one, but until I get that radio system, I can't really go any further with this one. So he's going to go back on the floor. It's heavy. It's got to be a good 40 pounds. Yeah, and I did say 40 pounds. That whole... <laughs> The whole bottom of that thing is just steel, so it's it's heavy. But back to the little excavator. Like I said, this was a little Bruder uh, push toy. Got off of Amazon on sale for like 30 bucks or something like that. They're usually like $40. And my challenge was, was to make it a fully hydraulic uh, excavator and you get all the functions to work. You know, get everything to uh, actually do what it's supposed to do and um, still be able to put the driver in. I took one of the little brooder drivers, just a little lady. I tried to be diverse with my drivers. Um, for example, there's a female in this one and in the excavator, and there's a guy, I think he's a Caucasian gentleman, um, a black gentleman, another black gentleman, and a robot. <laughs> he's he's actually a Connects driver, uh, a Connects figure from the old toy line, but he's a robot. So, yeah, but I try to be diverse with my characters. But this is the um, excavator. Um, like I said, it works. I tried to get, like I said, everything inside of it, and it's a tiny little setup. I mean, it's to compare to my hand, it's. It's small, but it's got the full hydraulic system in it, and I'll take the body off in a minute. But I want to show you that it works. You know. Got to do something with the hoses. They're, they're kind of messy. It's not quite done yet. There's a few things I want to do. Like, it has a, um, has a gear motor problem with this one here. I don't know if it's burnt out or the speed controller is bad or whatever, but it uses tiny little speed controllers for the uh, for the gear motors. But yeah, it turn it won't turn. It'll turn a complete well, at least that way it won't. But it'll turn all the way around, but it won't do a 360. And of course, it wants to embarrass me. There it goes. And, like I said, of course the hydraulics work. And it's pretty strong. I mean, for what it is. I do have a problem which I can't figure out. It um, after a while, as you can see it now, the oil actually gets foamy, and I'm hoping that somebody will actually comment on this uh, video. I tend to not get comments, and comments help me out, guys. So please comment. Um, but the oil gets foamy, and I don't know why. I taken the system completely apart and put it back together. 
put new hoses in and everything, and it still is acting like there's air getting in the system. That I haven't figured out. I think, my personal opinion, it's the hoses. It's these, I think it's these cheap Amazon hoses that I'm using here. They're not very flexible, um, and they're, they crimp very easily. So that's one reason why you see them kind of a mess. Um, I did order some new Robar Air uh, Airline, which, is, believe it or not, is pretty good for hydraulics. I mean, it it does its job. I've been using it for years. I I use it on the uh, wheel loader here. I mean, and that wheel loader is again. I know I know. I say in all my videos how old these things are, but that wheel loader is pretty old, and it still has the original hoses on it, and it works just fine. But back to the excavator, but. Like I said, I have a I have a problem with that, and I haven't quite figured out why it does that. Also, the uh, bucket rotates. And I have the bucket set up so I can still use the, uh, bro the little brooder system. One second, I gotta put the radio, the uh, phone down for a second. But yeah, like I said, I, I have it set up so I can still use the brooder system, which is basically just slides off like that, and you get another one of their buckets, and it clips on. Okay. And now the bucket's connected. And see, that's another thing. I want to do something with these, these lines so they're not just flopping around. Like I said, this is... Not complete yet. I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on. But yeah, you know, still, still works. And this is just a 3D printed part that I've cobbled together from a diff couple of different uh, sites and uh, designs off of um, Tinkercad. Like the the connection is a uh, connection that you can get for the Bruder uh, buckets. The bucket is a brooder, uh, another file for a brooder bucket. Um, this system here and that I actually made up. This is a piece of copper with a brass cap on it to see, protect the gear motor. But also, with the doors open here, you can see how tight it actually is inside there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very tight. It gives you an idea. You know, uses a little tiny battery, a little 800 milliamp um, lipo battery, 2S. Uh, let's see, let's pull this guy out. Just a little 2S, and it actually goes for a pretty good um, amount of time. Sorry about that. My radio's yelling at me because I disconnected the battery. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and take the body off so I can show you how it looks on the inside okay this is the here it is with the cab off and you can see it's it's a tight fit in there I mean it's very tight I was actually surprised that I got all this stuff in here um, here's the hydraulic pump here's the valves a little custom-made tank Stain, a little stainless steel braised together uh, custom made tank the uh, 10 channel receiver it's a fly sky receiver inside there see if we can get some light in there but oh, let's see if we can do it without <laughs> but inside there you can see the speed controls for the gear motors for the drive motor sorry the two gear motors that run the drive motors and of course a Dean connector I would put an X, um, XT60 on there but I think an XT60 might be too big and I don't really trust these little um, little plugs to carry a lot of load let's see what else we got for the turntable it's just a simple servo that I360 uh, it's a little Savox servo. Oh, take that back. Sorry, it's not a Savox servo. It's a high-tech, uh, low-profile servo. Um, 
that I just 360. It has a little hobby wing um, electric speed controller for the um, for the pump. Just a little airplane one, 30 amp, and little no name servos for the uh, drive. The control, the bucket attachment. There's another little speed controller, a little no name one, a little Amazon setup, and. The light controller is also buried in there. I'm thinking about taking the receiver and just laying it on top of the uh, the other components in here. I mean, it doesn't get hot at all. This little guy, it has no weight and it has um, no stress. I mean, the, the arm weighs nothing. So it's, it's all power. <laughs> this thing probably weighs with the added... Uh, fish weight, fishing weight that I put to the bottom here, and I'm going to close all this in, so again, you know, this is a work in progress, but with the added fish weights, it's probably only about maybe six pounds, so it weighs nothing, way more, um, way more power in this pump than this thing would ever need, matter of fact, I have to be careful when I dig because it will just drag itself around, but Again, everything everything works. I'm proud of it. My next project to it is to uh, put a servo somehow so I can lift up the blade. Because right now the blade is just, you know, it's just how it's made for the toy to click into place. Again, I want to clean up all the hoses, make it look a little bit better. Um, again, you can see that I need to paint the, uh, the cylinders. This cylinder I actually stole from the wheel loader uh, to lift this one of the uh, arm lifting sir, uh, cylinders. I have cylinders come coming from Robart, but for some reason, I think because of whatever's going on in shipping around the world right now, and uh, just, I don't know, Robart is taking forever to send me the stuff. Uh, they haven't even taken the money out of PayPal yet to um, confirm my order. So I don't know what's going on with that. I might actually have to go and try to find the parts at some other place. Um, but yep, this is my little excavator. If you got any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them. And before I go, because I know this is a question that everybody is going to ask automatically, the valve and the pump are from Magom HRC in Spain. Um, this one I did have to so get the camera to to just shave off the little corners here because they stick over the edge of the uh, body here. Um, I just have it zip tied down. I mean that's more than enough to hold it in place. Um, again, the hoses. These some of these hoses are old Robart hoses that I had left over. The ones that I, that are really flexible and they need to get to really tight places. I had to use the Robart hoses. And of course, like I said, this is my little tank. This is the filler, and you can get to the filler through the little lob, through this little contain, a little door here. So that's pretty cool. That sits right there, and that's it. That's the little mini excavator. Hope you guys like it. And uh, let me know in the comments what you feel about it. And uh, hope to talk to you soon. My next project is, again, I want to work on the, the big excavator there and uh, talk about the hard lines that I put on it. But again, I'm waiting for a couple of pieces. I also, I know I said in one of my videos that I want to get another excavator. I want to get the double E electric um, excavator the all metal one but again I, I don't know if it's because of all the shipping problems that's going on right now in the world or um, what's going on with it but I can't seem to find anybody that has it in stock uh, there was a guy on um, Facebook that has a new store that um, that's been trying to get me to buy it from him but the problem with him is is that PayPal doesn't do to pay in four, I know that sounds cheap, but I don't want to just drop $600 in one sitting on the, on a toy, basically. So I'm just looking for somebody that will do the pay in four from um, PayPal, and he doesn't do it. And the other place I found that has it is Warbox, but Warbox, however you say the word, 
The Whir box is way too expensive. They want almost $800 for a uh, excavator that I've been seeing online and seeing people buy on YouTube for five to six hundred dollars. So, you know, so we'll get to that one eventually. That is on my radar, and uh, hopefully with the next couple of weeks or so, the shipping problems that are going around um, will will be fixed up and. Um, we can get back to actually getting projects done. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Please subscribe.